So this is the Ampula rechargeable bike light. And honestly, it's the coolest bike light that I've ever used. I ride my bike to work every day and it's very important for me to have a good bike light. This was sent to me about a month ago and I've really enjoyed testing it out. So real quick in this video, I'm just gonna tell you about some of the features and cool things with this and some of the things I hope they improve on this. So most importantly, this light is very bright. It's really easy to see in the daylight. I don't worry about being seen. Uh, no matter what the brightness is outside. It's a really bright light. The light's also waterproof, so I don't have to worry about when it's raining. This won't affect the light in any way. And it has a lot of really cool settings on the light. So th for the light settings, you can have it be a solid light, you could have it be a blinking light, you could have it so that the light's not on unless you're actually pressing the brake button. It also has a feature where you can use turn signals and have cool little laser lanes that come up. The remote control is really nice. It allows you to do all the features you need to do on the light so you can control it without getting off your bike. The remote light lights up and you can see it really well in the dark or dawn or dusk and you can still kind of see it in full daylight as well. The remote control is nice that you can put the bike into standby into standby mode. It has a standby 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 uh, standby. It has a standby mode that you can turn on and off. You can also completely turn the light off with just the side button here on the light. Standby. Standby, boy. I can't talk today. Standby. Stand by. The word is stand by. Installing this is also really easy. It has these thumb screws so you can just screw it on your bike. It also comes with rubber spacers. I found that I had to cut one of the rubber spacers and use it in both of these and it works just great. With the rubber spacers it stays on the bike nice and secure and doesn't bounce around or move at all. I was able to install both of these onto my bike in about three minutes. So just of note, I've been trying this on full power with the laser lights on for about 40 minutes a day and it lasted about a week going to and from work every day. So overall, the battery power seems to be about three to four hours on full power. And you can always increase this by replacing the battery with a higher capacity battery as well. Something else of note, is while the main light is very bright and can be seen in the daylight, the laser lane lights are not bright enough to be seen in full daylight, but they can be seen in dawn or dusk and can be seen very well if it's night. While this is the coolest light I have used and I really like the features, there's a few things that I hope that they will improve on this. For one, there is no quick release. So if you need to recharge this and you have to remove the light, You'll have to manually unscrew this thumb screw, which takes for me about two to three minutes. So if there is a way for you to charge it while it's still on your bike, I would recommend doing that as that would probably be quite a bit easier. The other thing I noticed is with this remote control, because of my quick shifting right by my thumb, I have to actually remove my hand from the handlebars to control this. It'd be kind of cool if there was a way to design a remote control that you could put on the handbrake so you could control with your fingers while they're on the brake. But overall, the remote control is really easy to use. Not much of a problem just to move my thumb over a bit. Another feature I wish they would add is using the remote control to see exactly what the light setting on is on the light. As is, you kind of have to guess what's going on. Uh, the turn signal will automatically turn off after about a minute, but maybe it'd be cooler if it would turn off in about 20 seconds. I don't know if I need it to be on for a whole minute, or it'd be nice if it would show that the turn signal is actually going with the remote control, so you'd know if the turn signal is on or off. I think this light is most ideal in the city. If you drive in the city with traffic like I do, it's really nice to have a turn signal so that you can indicate to people in cars what you're going to do. I feel a lot more safe with this bike light than I have with other bike lights. It's a really cool light. It just needs quick release. Quick release, folks. Quick release. 